before you use it, it needs to be completely soaked with water. So you just put it in a bath of water. You don't need to leave it in for half an hour, but you can see that bubbles come out of the porous stone. As soon as the bubbles have stopped coming out of the stone, then it's soaked and you can use it. It is ground in the factory at uh, 10 degrees each side, so the angle is really important. One thing to remember is to keep the angle constant throughout the grinding process. So 10 degrees is quite a shallow angle around there. If you imagine that's 90, that's 45. If you halve it, halve it again to 20, and then 10 is a very shallow angle like that. So you start moving the knife across the stone. And you want to make sure that you're grinding from the tip right to the heel of the knife. So start with the actual point of the knife on the stone and grind across. It takes a bit of practice. So after you've done quite a few strokes on one side, turn over and again on the back side of the blade, run from the tip right to the heel. Keep the angle constant. The stone will dry out during the process, so keep a little shot glass full of water and just pour a few drops on to make sure that the stone remains uh, wet. Um, and after you've used that, you can move on to something like 1000 grit, and this stone here is 1000 grit. If it's not too badly damaged or not too blunt, you can just use the 1000 grit to sharpen your knife. So to use this, it's exactly the same as it was on the coarser whetstone. Same action, same angle, but you don't need to work for so long because you're not grinding a new edge on, you're just refining the edge that's already there. Both sides. Again, if it dries out, a little more water. 